Welcome everybody, this is Alan Daily Armor of God. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. This is my finishing the Bible one year project, day 38. Day 38. Today we'll be reading from Leviticus chapters 19, 20, and 21. So three today. As per usual, using blueletterbible.org, King James Version. So let's get to it. So it looks like there's more laws. And <laughs> I'm thinking that the whole entire Leviticus is going to be laws and no story. You'd think numbers. You'd think numbers would be the, the book of laws. <laughs> like, right? All the all the all the laws. Lots of numbers. Numbers of laws. Anyway, let's get started. Leviticus 19, verse 1. And the Lord, or Jehovah, however you want to say it, spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I, Jehovah, your God, am holy. Ye shall fear every man his mother and his father, and keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. Turn ye not un unto I idols, nor make yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your God. And if ye offer a sacrifice of peace offerings unto Jehovah, ye shall offer it at your own will. It shall be eaten the same day ye offer it, and on the morrow, and it, if aught remain until the third day, it shall be burnt in the fire. If it be eaten at all on the third day, it is ab uh, abominable. It shall not be accepted. Therefore every one that eateth it shall bear his antiquity, because he hath profaned the hallowed thing of Jehovah, and that soul shall be cut off from among the people. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field, neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest, and thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither thou shalt thou gather every grape of the vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie to one another. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am Yehovah. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shalt fear thy God. I am the Lord. Ye shall do no unrighteousness, unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tale-bearer among thy people, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am Jehovah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Jehovah. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Linen and woolen can't come together? Okay. And whosoever lieth carnally with woman that is a bondmaid, betrothed to a husband, and not at all redeemed nor freedom given her, she shall be scourged. They shall not be put to death, because she was not free. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto Jehovah unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, even a ram, for a trespass offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering before the Lord, for his sin which he hath done, and the sin which he hath done shall be forgiven him. And when ye shall come into the land, and shall have planted all manner of trees for food, then ye shall count the fruit thereof as uncircumcised. Three years shall it be uncircumcised unto you, and shall not be eaten of. But in the fourth year all the fruit thereof shall be holy to praise Jehovah withal. And in the fifth year shall ye eat of the fruit thereof, that it may yield unto you the increase thereof. I am Jehovah your God. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. Observe times. 
Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beards. What? What does that even mean? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. You shall keep my Sabbaths, and re reverence my sanctuary. I am Jehovah. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am Jehovah, your God. Thou shalt rise up before hoary head, and honor thy face with the old man, and fear thy God. I am Jehovah. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him. But the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as thyself, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am Jehovah your God. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment in metiard, in weight or in measure. Just balances, just weights, just as if Epha and just hen shall ye have. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe all my statues and all my judgments, and do them. I am Jehovah. Leviticus 20, verse 1. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Again thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of children of Israel, or of the strangers that should journey Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he hath given of his seed unto Molech, and he defile my sanctuary, and, is, and to profane my holy name. If the people of the land do any ways hide their eyes from the man, when he giveth of his seed unto Molech, and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and will cut them off, and all that go whoring after him to commit whoredom with Moloch from among their people. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits, and after wizards, to go whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut them off from among his people. Sanctify yourselves therefore, and be ye holy, for I am Jehovah your God. And ye shall keep my statues, and do them. I am Jehovah, which sanctify you. For every one that curseth the father, his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. A man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. And a man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness, both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion, their blood shall be upon them. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. If a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. If they shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there will be no wickedness among you. If a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. Ew. And if a woman approach in, unto any beast, and lie down there too, thou shalt kill a woman and the beast, and they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He hath uncovered his sister's nakedness, he shall be bear his antiquity. If a man shall lie with a woman having her sickness, she, and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her fountain, and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood, and both of them shall be cut off from among the people. And thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor thy father's sister, for the Uncovereth near his kin, they shall bear the antiquity. If a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, he hath uncovered his uncle's nakedness, and they shall bear their sin, and they shall die childless. If a man shall take his brother's wife, it is an unclean thing, he hath uncovered his brother's nakedness, they shall be childless. Ye shall therefore keep all my statues and all my judgments, and do them, that the land whither I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out, and ye shall walk in the manners of the nation which I cast before you, for they commit all these things, and therefore abhorred them. But I have said to you, ye shall inherit the land, their land, and I will give it to you to possess it, a land that floweth of milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. Ye shall therefore 
but difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. You shall not make your souls ab abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated you as unclean. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I am Jehovah, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. A man also, or a woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. Okay, Leviticus 21. Ugh, more regulations. <laughs> And Jehovah said unto Moses, Speak unto the priests of the sons of Aaron, and say unto them, There shall be none be defiled for the dead among his people, but for his kin that is near unto him, that is for his mother, and for his father, and for his son, and for his daughter, and for his brother, and for his sister virgin that is nigh unto him, which hath no husband, for her may be uh, for her may he be defiled, but he shall not defile himself, being a chief man among his people, to profane himself. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy unto God, and not to profane the name of their God. The offerings of Jehovah made by fire, and the bread of their God they do offer. Therefore they shall be holy. They shall not take a wife that is a whore or profane, neither shall they take a woman put away from her husband, for he is holy unto his God. Thou shalt sanctify him thereof, for he offereth the bread of thy God. He shall be holy unto thee. For I, Jehovah, which will sanctify you, am holy. And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father, she shall be burnt with fire. And he that is the high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil is poured, and that is consecrated to put on garments, shall not uncover his head, nor rend his clothes. Neither shall he go in any into any body, nor defile himself for his father or for his mother. Neither shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the sanctuary of his God, for the crown of the anointing oil of his God is upon him. I am Jehovah. And he shall take a wife in her virginity, a widowed, or a divorced woman, or a profane, or a harlot, these shall he not take, but he shall take virgin of his own people to wife. Neither shall he profane his seed among his people, for I, Jehovah, do sanctify him. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in the generations that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the, bre the bread of his God. For whoso whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach a blind or man or the lame, or he that hath a flat nose or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken footed or broken handed, or crook backed, or a dwarf, or hath a blemish on his eye, or be scurvy or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath blemish of the seed of Aaron, the, the priest shall come nigh to offer in the offerings of, of Jehovah made by fire. He that hath a blemish, he shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. He shall eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy and the end of the holy. Only he shall not go into the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because he hath a blemish, that he profane not my sanctuaries. For I... Jehovah to sanctify them. And Moses told it unto Aaron and to his sons and to all the children of Israel. Okay. That was uh, the, our reading for today. Now, as you guys know, the last couple days I've been doing this daily promise. I really like the daily promise. So here we go, daily promise. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Jehovah shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalm 121, 5-8 Reflection Oh, here's a, here's a prayer. Father, keep me close to you, so I will not look left nor right. May I keep my eyes focused on you throughout this life. Thank you for your constant love and guidance. That's a good prayer, guys. It's a good prayer. But that's someone else's prayer, even though I agree with this prayer. I'm sure you guys agree with this prayer, but I'm going to do my own prayer. Your Lord, Jehovah, 
Thank you for this day and thank you for everything you've done for us. I thank you that we're able to read your word and I pray that you, we, you can continue to draw close to us as we read your word and learn your word. Thank you for everything you've done for us and that you will do for us. In your precious holy name, Jehovah. Amen. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta, -ta for now. See you later. God bless. Put God first in everything you do. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.